this an observatory? Excuse me, I'm just gonna look into your uh, your big telescope. I don't recall what they're actually called. It's a moon! It seems Baldino is working on the proto-pack. Maybe he's trying to improve it? Uh, Baldino was a character who you bought a jetpack-ish thing from in the first game. Hello? Well, Twinsen, did you find something to treat the dino fly? No. I have to find the School of Magic. By the way, could you ask Baldino for the car part he promised me? Car part? Okay by me. Fortunately, fortunately, he's right here. Hey, Jerome. I'm trying to find the School of Magic. Hello, Twinson. I never realized that there was an actual School of Magic. I guess I should get out of my shop more often. <coughs> uh, I get the feeling that you stay home a lot. Here. Here's the part that Zoe needs for your car. Jerome Baldino just gave you a part that Zoe needs to fix the car. Yes, he just told me. Uh, I guess I need to head back to Citadel Island. Hi. Do you know where to find the School of Magic? Welcome to the inter Island Police, sir. I don't know where it is. How helpful you are, then. For 12 caches, where'd you want to go? Where'd you want to go? Wait a second, wasn't it 10 caches on Citadel Island? Citadel Island. You have a ferry ticket. Shush, everything is more pricey, Outlands. We need the car to in order to progress, so we might as well head back to Citadel Island. Away we go! That thing sure can turn on a dime. Goodbye, I. Uh oh. Home, sweet home. Hi, Felix. Hey, hey, hey. Did, did you really destroy the Trello? Oh, yes, oh, I did. This monster re really existed. Oh, oh, hail to you. May you be prosperous. And, and may the Sentinels protect your descendants. I think they already do. Hi. Welcome to the Inter Islands Ferry, Mr. Twinson. For ten caches, wh where do you want to go? Desert Island. You have a ferry ticket. So, I got that fixed. Down. Hello, Bob. What's up with these Esmonds? Couldn't they have stayed home? Sheesh, you're grumpy. Is 
a grumpy elephant. Hi. I, I seen some pink grobos before, <laughs> but green chaps from outer space. That's the first. I could do with a little help. Hello, Tim. What a story! Those guys showing up from the Emerald Moon. What a story! Hello, Tim. Yeah, what yeah, 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 I don't want to talk with you. I want to buy some health. Insert five caches if you want ten life points. Whoa, that was cheap. Ten life points! Cool! I see. That's better. Should probably buy some magic points as well. Insert five caches if you want ten magic points. Ten magic points! All right. Thank you. Let's head over to the magical trees. Hello? Ha! Ah, that alien joke! No! For eight caches, where do I drop you? To the wizard's lane. Hang on! No, oh, wait, no, I went to the wrong place. Hello. <laughs> Look at that. This place brings out the music in young souls. In fact, they adore Sendel. They will pretty much all sing that song we heard earlier. to cross the bridge. Or I wish to visit the money trees. Much obliged. Okay, now we can visit Zoe, give, give her the car part, and then we can head back to Desert Island and look for the School of Magic. Another one of those guys. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm not fighting against that guy, it's because uh, enemies in this game is, for the most part, color-coded. If an enemy is wearing all green, you need to have a green ball in order to attack them and so on and so forth. So, I can't actually attack some of the enemies that are available at the moment. So it's pretty much just better that you dodge them. This is. Is it supposed to be a handlebar? Gee, thanks, Twinson. Now I'll be able to finish up the car. Oh, Baldino called recently. He says he forgot to give you a portable radio, and he wants you to come by and pick it up. Back and forth, back and forth. I 
wish I had a soundtrack for this game. It's really awesome music. Now they're following me on the boats as well. Okay, I hope I haven't forgotten my luggage. It's important to not forget your luggage when you leave uh, public transports. Okay, you better grab that. Radio then. Hey, Jerome. I'm trying to find the school. Yes, we already established Hello. that. I never here. This is that portable radio I forgot to give you. Sorry about the mix-up, but I think you'll agree it was worth waiting for. Oh yes, it was. Now own a portable radio. You can now receive calls from your friends. So I can't talk back to them. Seems like a bit of a waste to me. Hello, Twinson? That's it. I fixed the car. You should give it a whirl. I'm bringing it to Desert Island. Ooh. If you want to try out the car, just go to the racetrack or the desert. As long as I'm here, I'm going to catch up on a little shopping. I'll meet you back at the house. Okay, cool. Hi. Twinson, if you want to try... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow. This is actually really useful for Desert Island because it allows you to... Desert Island is huge, so the car actually helps you get around. The problem is, you just gotta remember where you parked the car. Because you can pretty much leave it anywhere on the island. Fortunately, the car is also marked out by the map. As you can see, this island is much bigger than what the Citadel Island is. 